What's going on guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am now less than 10 weeks out, about 9 weeks out now and um, as you can see I am like somewhere totally different. We've literally packed our whole life in like 2 days so it's been super super hectic being on prep and doing cardio and training and moving but we had Lots of friends to help us and obviously our parents are helping us out a lot as well so i'm super grateful for that um we're currently living at my parents house and this is pretty much our first step towards going all in on my competing this year for those of you who don't know obviously um i turned pro in 2019 and turning pro means that i would never compete in perth again and then obviously in 2020 perth western australia decided that they would shut themselves off the whole world and the rest of Australia essentially which meant that like I had absolutely no chance of competing for as long as I couldn't leave the state and I was pretty much stuck in the state for a long time at the moment I'm still kind of technically stuck in the state but we have made plans to leave and we're able to leave but um, coming back may be an issue and it's gonna be totally fine as we're gonna be officially homeless in a way. So we're homeowners that don't own a home. So we won't be, we'll be living wherever um, and traveling to compete and just this year is gonna be really good and really exciting. We don't have a set plan as to when we're even coming back, but this is the first step, getting rid of our rentals so we don't have to pay rent. Um, we're just gonna be living here until my first show and then just take it from there and keep going for the rest of the year. So today we're probably going to be training, I'm going to be training legs actually, but I might be taking it a little bit easy. My back's a little bit sore from moving and I've um, just been doing a lot of cardio lately, just really trying to rein it in. However, I did hit a new low this morning, so all the burning of calories from moving and whatnot has definitely paid off, I guess. So we'll see how today goes. We're gonna go for lots of walks to get my steps in. <laughs> she woke up really weird. How do you feel that there's another big dog in the house? Big dog, small dog. <laughs> big dog, small dog. Dog, small dog. dog. So me and Jeremy are both really tired because obviously we've been moving for two days. And um, he just had his pre-workout. I had a fat burner, which actually has a bit less caffeine than pre-workout. <laughs> and I was like, I just, don't feel this caffeine hit yet. Should we take more? <laughs> Look at him, he needs I don't feel more like, caffeine. Yeah, I feel like exhausted. But, but he does taking, not want to give in. Yeah, I don't want to take it. I took a full scoop of this oil. So. Look, a full scoop? Some people take two scoops. Nah, nah. Kind of double scoop. The big, the big dog's double, scared, double, double man. Scoop I'm <laughs> just double scoop. I'm going to take a little bit more. You got to do what you got to do on prep, you know. <laughs> if you need caffeine to get through it, nobody's going to judge you. <laughs> so for today's training, I'm going to be doing a bit of a voiceover, giving you little tips and telling you what I'm doing um, because I think some of you do enjoy that style. So we will be like rotating between doing like a really cool edit and like maybe sometimes I do a voiceover more in informative and something like that if you guys prefer. So the first exercise I'm doing is a cable glute abduction. I start with my legs just next to me and then I superset that with one with my leg behind me. So with the first cable glute abduction, what you want to do is focus on moving your knee away from the other knee and actually not kicking too high up. A lot of people tend to swing their legs as well. If you notice, I'm very, very controlled and I don't swing my leg up too high. Um, what I do is I really, really focus on pushing through my knees and pulling apart rather than swinging upwards. Same thing goes with the um, leg behind, it just hits a different area of the glute. So both exercises kind of like hit the same muscle but from a different angle and you'll feel quite different. And it's exactly the same thing from the back. You, The only difference with the one from the back is you'd want to bring the leg inwards a little bit more and then swinging it back out. It's pretty normal. Some 
sometimes for some people to feel more of it in the standing leg. That's really normal for someone who's just beginning with the exercise, so don't worry about it too much. Just focus on the side glute, and as long as you're feeling it in your side glute, you're on the right track. Next, I move on to one of my favorite exercises. It is a dumbbell Bulgarian split squat. I do mine glute focus, so what I make sure is to sit into the glute of the front leg. It's really important that you're feeling it in the front leg and not the back. A lot of people who do this exercise wrong will feel it in the quads of their back leg, and that leg is simply just for support. You wanna be feeling everything in the front leg, and for me, I'm doing it glute focus, so I'm feeling it more in the glutes and the quads, although naturally you'll be hitting the quads as well. So the focus is to make sure that you're pushing your hips back, sitting into it, and more importantly, not letting your knees go too forward. You ideally wanna have your knees right above the ankles, and um, keeping your shins nice and straight and then pushing your glutes back, sitting into it and really squeezing on the way up. Take your time with this. Um, there's no set tempo. I just like to really control um, all the way going up. Next, I move on to a Smith machine hip thrust. I really love doing the hip thrust on the Smith machine. I think I can really get lots of control with it. Some people's Smith machines don't go all the way down to the ground. Um, so if that's you, then you may not be able to use the Smith machine, but if yours does, then you can definitely use the Smith machine. So what I'm doing here is a very, very slow on the positive, which is on the way up. So a lot of people like to make sure that they control the negative, which is really good, but the way I'm doing a lot of my exercises today, I'm actually controlling the positive part of the motion, which is the one with the load going on the way up. So what I'm doing is I'm squeezing and slowly pushing it up, and then just kind of dropping it back down, really focusing on going slow on the way up. Another important thing is to make sure you're not swinging your chest backwards. You wanna keep your eyes forward, your chin tucked, looking forward the whole time, keeping your back nice and steady, keeping your core nice and tight, squeezing your glutes the whole way through. Next, I move on to a Smith machine stiff leg deadlift. Again, I'm making it very glute focused and very, very slow on the way up. I also make it a constant tension, which means I don't lock out at the top. So what I'm doing is I'm really focusing on using my glute to squeeze forward and letting my upper body follow as a result, rather than lifting my upper body up, which a lot of people tend to do. So my glutes and my hips are the one that's leading the motion and my upper body is simply just following and I'm really squeezing hard all the way, keeping lots and lots of concentration the whole way through. I think I might purchase it. We don't need a hundred dollar bean bag. A bean bag does cost about a hundred bucks. I don't think we still have to buy the like bean. Oh wait, maybe we have to buy the beans for this one. Yeah, I think this is. No, this one comes like that, I reckon. It has no. pockets, Jeremy. Oh, it even does. <laughs> Dude, this looks so comfy. We don't need this. Like we can sit there. And watch what are we doing now, Nicole? We're supposed to be buying an uh, adapter, but Jeremy wanted to, I don't know if this beanbag caught his eye. It's $99. Oh, those are dope. They, they just make the room look prettier. It's, it's like literally pointless, that's all it does. It's literally just like lights in the back of your room. I'm going to buy the whole pink set and then I'm going to change careers and become a Twitch streamer. <laughs> I finally hit my long-term goal of getting 10k followers so I can finally do the whole swipe up thing because a lot of times people have like asked me like because you know they're like I either like sponsors or whatever oh can you do like a swipe up and I have to embarrassingly tell them that I can't do swipe ups because I don't have 10k followers and it's always the saddest thing but I finally have 10k so I just want to say a big thank you to everyone and anyone who's watching who did actually follow me on Instagram, have been following me on Instagram, I really appreciate all of you. 11.45 on Wednesday night. Ahon, H-O-A-N-G. R-V-I-E-C. Hard to get in, then, you know what I'm saying? You're too big. Nicole's like seats are like. <laughs> the big door. The gorilla.
So we're back at Gorilla Cairo this week. Um, we're getting it adjusted, but then we're also doing Pilates for the first time. I've done a lot of stuff, but I have not done Pilates before. I've done like yoga and like spin class. And <laughs> have you done Pilates? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tom, have you done Pilates? No. <laughs> so it'll be your first time. I've done it before. No, you haven't. Yeah, I have. You're gonna watch it and we've see how good I am. We've Please let your feet up. One more <laughs> shot. Watch it see how good I am. With some other girl. This other girl. This other girl. Perfect. On your next breath out, 
Drive in front of you. The more you can drop your chest in between your legs, the better it is. Breathe in there. Breathe out as you curve one back to the other. You're fine to return to a vertical position. Breathe in there. Breathe out. Back in your pelvis under. Create that full sensation on your feet and wide from your head. Create tension, tension, tension. One back to the other. Reaching your arms to your side. Reach your legs up for the up with your hips to the ceiling, legs parallel to the floor. If you can, you can drop your feet to the floor or mounting your legs parallel to the floor. And three, turn your feet up. One leg to the other. Three, turn your legs. Hey, I was better at it. Three, turn your legs. Reaching to your chest. Chest knee. today's video and especially the voiceover segment please comment below and tell me whether you like this style of like a training or what you prefer also do let me know more of what you like to see and i will catch you guys in the next one